In this session, I'm going to guide you through the various types of motor blocks that we have in our EV3 tablet software. Now, what I'm going to do is start off by creating a new program, as we always do. And I'm going to bring in all four types of motor blocks to show you this, their similar characteristics. So I'm just going to bring them in. The medium motor, the large motor, the move steering block, and the move tank block. These are the four motors, motor blocks that we have. Now, I want you to notice that a lot of the parameters here at the bottom are very, very similar. So you'll notice that there are power on each of these, as I click through. And there is duration as well. How long is my motor block going to turn on for? And this is set to rotations. OK. And that's all the same as well. Also, how the motor block finishes. Does it break, i.e. stop instantly, or does it coast to a halt? So you'll notice that on all four blocks, those parameters are the same. The only one that's different is the move steering block. And it has a steering element, which we will be showing you in the next section. Now, the other thing to point out that's very important is the change mode on all of these blocks. And they are exactly the same. I'll just choose one, which will be the moose steering. And I can set this up in many different ways. I can turn on my moose steering. I can turn it on, wait for a sensor to trigger, and then turn off. I can turn it on for a number of seconds for a number of rotations, or for a number of degrees of turn of the axle. So many different ways of actually moving our robot. By default, it's always set to on for rotations. So as I said before, and just to finish, the one different thing in all of these blocks is found in the steering block, or the moose steering block. So where are we going to start? We're going to start with the moose steering block, and I'm going to do a demonstration of that. Now, I can either delete the blocks or I can start a new program. For me, I prefer to start a new program. So I'm just going to go back to the lobby, click on new program, and it's ready for me with a fresh, clean programming uh, canvas. So this is the move steering block. I'm going to drag it in for you so you can have a look at. This is the block that most people start with. It allows us to move our robot educator model around, either in a straight line or with lots of turning. The user can control the speed and the length of the time the motors will remain on for. OK? I'll just show you a quick example. So I can control the speed just by dragging backwards and forwards. And notice when it goes negative, the robot's going to be going backwards. OK? Now just go back to what it was set at, 50. Now you can see my sliding techniques is not that good. And if you're like me, you can't slide very well, I can type in the number instead. OK, so just remember that keypad there helps you if you're not very good sliding like me. So what do we want to do here? I want to show you then very simply how we can control these, how we control the steering by moving left and by moving right. Um, and we'll look at that in a moment. But one thing I do want to show you is the help menu. Now, I'm looking at the steering block. I'm using it how these work. If I click on the help, it actually highlights information about the block. And it's very comprehensive. It shows you how to wire to more blocks, how to configure the parameters. And by sliding across, it shows me how to copy, how to paste, etc. It's a very comprehensive user guide. Simply close it, and I can go back to my programming canvas. So what I want to do is do a very simple program. I'm going to set the duration here to two rotations by clicking on two. And I'm going to run my program, and I'm going to see what happens. Now, it should move forward for two rotations of the wheel. So let's just see if that works. Downloading the brick. Yeah, and that's moved two rotations of the, uh, of the wheel. So that's worked pretty well. Now. Now I want to try and show you how we turn with this, uh, this programming block as well. So I'm just going to move it back into the middle. And I click on the sliding parameter. 
and if I slide it to the right, should give me a pretty good right hand turn. So again, hit the play button. There you go, fantastic. So I can make it turn in many different ways. Um, again, just remembering, I can start and download this program in many ways. I can use the top right hand play button, or I can click on the start play button as well. Now, for you to get more out of uh, this programming block, I want you to have a, follow the Robo Educator activity called Curved Moo. Run through the four steps of that Robo Educator tutorial and uh, see, um, see how you can do that, okay? And then I want to move on to the Move Tank block and show you how that one works as well. So, the Move Tank block. Again, what I'm gonna do is go back to the lobby and I'm gonna open up a new program. So I simply click on New Program. Again, you'll notice I've got a clean canvas ready to start, uh, start programming. Now, this is one of my favorites, as I like the finite control that you get with the motors. You have control of both of these motors independently. Now, if you look at the programming block, you'll see I've got my power on my left motor, and I've got the power on my right motor. Okay, and that's a really, it gives you that finite control. So what I want to do um, is turn my robot a good 90 degrees. So I've got my robot sitting here. I want to turn it 90 degrees to face the camera. Okay, what do I need to do? I need to t leave my left motor on and I need to turn off my right motor. And that should give us a good 90 degrees. So if I power down my right motor to zero and press the play button, I'll do the top, left, uh, top right hand play button this time. Okay, that's a pretty good 90 degrees. Now, if it's slightly off, sometimes it is, um, we can just change it to a little bit more. Okay, and you can play around with that to get your perfect 90 degrees. So a challenge for you now, can you get the robot to do a turn on one wheel, then also a nice 90 degrees turn, and then finally get it to do a slow arcing turn using two motors one going slow, more, much slower than the other, okay? Now I want you to stop the video and I want you to have a go at doing that. Try the three things, a 90 degrees turn, I want you to pivot on the spot using both motors and I want you to do a nice arcing turn as well. So what other motor blocks have we got? Um, so if I just drag this one down, notice what I'm doing, dragging down, letting go, it deletes that block for me, okay? now. I want to introduce to you the medium motor. On the robot educator model, the motor is used as a scoop at the front of the model to collect a colored cube. And there's the scoop here for you to see. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is build the module for the medium motor and connect it to the robot educator model. You will find the build guide in the tutorial called Move Object. And I want you then to have a go at that tutorial. Okay, finally, let's talk about the large motor. So I'll just drag this one off, and I'll bring in the large motor. The large motor block simply controls one motor rather than two when the move blocks are used, and that's it. So it's one uh, motor rather than both of them, and that is the large motor block. Okay, let's move on to the next thing.